Welcome back. Now, one of the things that we're going to learn today is how to create an image map or an image hotspot. It basically is the spot on an image that allows you to click it and it takes you to either a page or an external link. Now, we I've already walked you through how to create the layout you see on the page, which is of um, the Smart Leisure Park. It's just a, the basic layout I've walked you through how to get to the stage. Now, as part of that, we included this banner area here. And this banner area, we've been told that the logo part of it has to have, um, has to be clickable and take you to smartleisurepart.co.uk. So what we want to do is, I'm going to just allow it to take us to Google for now, but just to show you how to insert an image map. So you want to click on the, the logo area and make sure it's the image that is actually highlighted. And you can see it is, because if you look in your code, you see it's the image, image source there. And if you look down here, you can see it's the image. Um, you could give the image an ID to make it easier. Right. What you want to do is go to this area of the screen where it says map. There. Now, what we want to do is we want to draw a map over it so that we can link it to an area. So what you do is you move down to the map area and you click. Now, make sure you're on the image and you draw a box around there. So basically, we're drawing a box on this area. So that when the, the, anyone moves their mouse to that area, it will, it will basically be a clickable area. Now, as you, what you'll notice in the property inspector, a hotspot, uh, the term hotspot comes up, which is here, and then you've got a map, map. So the map here, the map is going to be, it's going to be a logo map. I'll call this a logo map. SLP logo map. Now, it's just an area put on an image, which when the mouse moves over, it becomes clickable. And when they click it, it takes them to a specified link. So here, I'm going to type a link for it to take us to https colon front slash www.google.com for now. Really, it should take us to SL, um, Smart Leisure. But as I don't have that website, it'll probably come up a fail. We can, we can actually um, change that. And target simply tells you whether it's going to open in a blank window, um, a new window, it's going to open on top of itself, or what. So I'm going to get it to open in a new window. So what should happen, when anyone moves over the smart logo, it should become, the mouse should show that it becomes clickable. And when they click, in this case, it's going to take us to Google. So I've done it in the template so that it updates to all the pages of the site. So if I quickly, quickly click Save, it should update. There it is. Update all these files based on template. Update and close. Now, let's actually have a look at what it actually does. Let's go to our browser and have a look. So remember, in our browser, we have um, here. And now, if you notice now, this is a clickable. The mouse changes. As soon as I go onto here, it becomes a clickable. Any other area along the banner, it's just a pointy arrow. But as soon as it moves over the smart leisure part, it becomes clickable. So click it, and where the, you noticed it opened a new tab, and it took us straight to Google. And that's what it's done. So that's how you put in an image map and you can use it to for buttons so if you have buttons in your in your in your banner you can actually have image buttons and just put hot links over them so really for your particular project you're doing you want to change this now always put the http or the https if it's an external website it will not work effectively if you just put www you must have the http or https so i'm going to put http and what you should have put in would have been www.smartleisure, and your spelling is of the essence, L-E-I-S-U-R-E park.co.uk. Again, I want it to open new, and all I'll put is um, smart leisure. Oops, sorry, my spelling's a bit awry. Leisure park logo. Um, uh, click when um, logo can be clicked to take you to smart leisure leisure park website 
that just helps anyone with um, um, issues to do being visually impaired. They may have a, a reader that reads the screen and that will tell them what that is. So all you need to do now is click File and Save and it updates again all the pages related and close. Now what I'd like us to do again is to go and open it and view it. So again, if I open the browser, go back to uh, the one, was it this one? Yep, let's refresh it because I've updated something in it. And again, the logo is there. Let's see what it does. Again, it does take you to smartleisureparkcouk It can't find it because I don't think that page exists, but it's done what it's meant to do. And that's how you put in an image map. So try it on your own and we'll meet back here for the next session.